In December 1995, I, I was appointed foreign minister by President Mkapa. Well, you know, you, as it is, you know, you are appointed. It's a, it's a long list. They announce ministers and... Uh, then I hear that I've been appointed foreign minister. Because un unfortunately, it was the day that my, my elder sister died. So, I, in fact, I was busy in Bagamoyo with the funeral. Then people come and tell me, you know, President Mkapa has announced the cabinet and you are the foreign minister. So when everybody else was sworn in, I was not there. And I came, I was sworn in alone. Of course, he told me that it's a, it's a busy ministry. Uh, you will learn in the job. Uh, but uh, one, one of the priorities, he, he said, was that we must make sure that the refugees go back home. It's a very tall order. You know, at this time, in 1993, we had a huge influx of refugees from Burundi after the death of, of the assassination of President Dadae. Then there was a lot of fighting in the, in the country, a lot of chaos. And in the process, we had many refugees who came from Burundi into Tanzania, into the Ngara, Ngara area. Uh, and then, of course, 1994, in 1993, when this happened, there was Minister for Energy and Minerals. 1994, then we had uh, refugees from, uh, from Rwanda now, after the genocide. Uh, I was, in 1995, when I became Foreign Minister, then I, I was given this assignment. Because we had over 850,000 refugees in Ngara and Karagwe. In Ngara, we had a, a huge camp called uh, Benako. In this camp, we had 350,000 refugees. And Ngara is only a district of 150,000 people. So <laughs> the refugees were three times the population. This, this camp, but at the same time we had another camp where we had the, the Burundi refugees. We also had another camp where we had uh, refugees mixed marriages. Because of the animosity between the Hutu and the Tusi, you cannot have Tusis in the predominantly Hutu camps. But there were, there, there, some of them m m m came as as couples, either the husband is Tusi, the wife is Hutu, or the, or the wife is, 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 is Tusi and the husband is Hutu. So then we had to create a, spe a special, a separate refugee camp for them. Otherwise, if you leave them alone, they kill them. Especially because they're predominantly Hutu, they used to kill the Tusis. In fact, we lost one, one of our Tanzanian officials because they suspected him to be a Tusi, and they killed him. And they buried him in a very shallow grave. <laughs> you can see the level of animosity that these two tribes have had. So at least that is it. But generally he said, sit down and, and look, look at the, the transcendent foreign policy. We have occupied ourselves so much in issues of high moral ground. Now it is time to look at ourselves. <clears throat> of course, Tanzania's foreign policy at independence. One of the th one of the ten there are several tenets. I don't think it is it is the business of today. You have been told taught already. There were a number of principles that Tanzania guided side Tanzania's foreign policy. And one of these has been to support 
the independence struggle in Africa. Kama mnavyofahamu e, Tanzania imefikisha miaka 60 ya uhuru wake. Kwa hiyo leo tulikuwa tunafanya majadiliano yanayohusiana na mahusiano kati ya Tanzania na Marekani kwa miaka hiyo 60. Kwa hiyo hapa leo tuko na Mheshimiwa Kikwete, e, tuko na balozi wa Marekani, tuko na balozi mstaafu Amina Salum Ali kujadili masuala hasa yanayohusiana na mahusiano kwa maana ya diplomasia. Na la msingi hapa ilikuwa inatazama kihistoria e, mahusiano ya kidiplomasia kati ya Tanzania na Marekani yalikuwaje na alikuwa katika maeneo gani? E, maeneo ya kisiasa, maeneo ya kiusalama na maeneo ya kiuchumi. Na miaka hiyo 60 yameleta manufaa makubwa sana kwa Tanzania kutokana na mahusiano hayo mazuri na taifa la Marekani. E, kuimarisha usalama wa taifa la Tanzania lakini pia kumekuwa na uwekezaji mkubwa kutoka serikali ya Marekani katika maeneo ya miundombinu katika eneo la afya katika maeneo ya, ya elimu lakini pia kufungua fursa kwa ajili ya watanzania kufanya biashara na Marekani lakini um, eneo lingine ambalo linazungumziwa sasa ni namna gani tunaweza kuimarisha mahusiano haya e, pengine kwa miaka mingine 60 E, kwa hiyo hilo limejitokeza na tumeshirikisha e, vijana wetu ambao wako katika chuo cha diplomasia katika majadiliano haya ili wao wapate kupata uelewa zaidi e, baada ya kuwasikia watu ambao wako kwenye e, kwenye sekta hii ya, ya diplomasia Mheshimiwa Kikwete amekuwa waziri wa mambo ya nchi za nje na ushirikiano wa mataifa kwa miaka kumi na baada hapo akawa rais na na unapokuwa rais wewe bado ni mwana diplomasia mkubwa kwa hiyo uzoefu ule pamoja na balozi na balozi ya Salum wanajaribu kuwashirikisha sasa vijana kutoka chuo cha diplomasia ili kuweza kuona namna gani e, kuzidi kuimarisha mahusiano kati ya Tanzania na mataifa mengine lakini pia na, na nchi ya Marekani sisi kama repoa tumekuepo kwa miaka 25 tu kwa hiyo tumekuta taifa tayari liko e, katika hatua mbalimbali za maendeleo lakini kubwa wakati tunaanzishwa kulikuonekana kwamba tatizo hili la umaskini bado tangu miaka uhuru mwalimu alikuwa anapambana nalo akizungumzia swala la maradhi eh, swala la umaskini swala la ujinga lakini tatizo la umaskini lilionekana bado lilikuwa limekithiri lime kwa hiyo repo ikaanzisha kwa ajili ya kujenga uwezo wa utafiti lakini pamoja na eh, chambuzi za kisera kuweza kuibua namna bora ya kupambana na tatizo la umaskini na utaona kwamba kwa miaka 25 iliyopita kumekuwa na, 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 na mabadiliko ya kisera yakiwa yanakwenda yana, yana kuangalia namna gani ya ku ya kuimarisha e, juhudi za kupunguza umaskini. E, kubwa hasa ilikuwa ni la kuhakikisha kwamba uchumi unakuwa. Na kabila kuwa kukua kwa uchumi uweze kupata kipato ambacho kinaweza e, kukidhi mahitaji ya serikali kwa maana ya matumizi ya serikali kata kuwekeza kwenye mwidombinu, kata kuwekeza kwenye elimu, kata kuhakikisha kwamba wananchi wanapata maji, barabara, kwa sababu yote hayo kuyajumlisha ndio yanaongeza yana, yana sasa e, e, vipato vya wananchi. Yanawapa fursa ya kushiriki katika shughuli za, za kiuchumi. Kwa hiyo tumekuwa tukifanya tafiti ambazo zimekuwa zikisaidia serikali wanapotengeneza mikakati kama mkukuta wale ambao mnakumbuka mkakati, mkukuta wale walikuwa ni, 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 ni mkukati wa kupunguza umaskini na kukuza uchumi. Lakini baadaye kaja mipango hii ya miaka mitano mitano. Eh, eh, na mpango wa kwanza, kaja mpango wa pili, sasa hivi serikali inatengeneza inatekeleza eh, mpango wa tatu. Yote hayo serikali imekuwa ikitumia sana sana utafiti pamoja na uchambuzi na ushauri unaotokana na tafiti. kama ambao tumesikia mshauri balozi wa Marekani amesema kwamba anatarajia kama miaka 60 ijayo e, uhusiano utaimarika e, serikali ya Marekani inataka kuona biashara inakuwa Tanzania wanasafirisha bidhaa kwenda Marekani bidhaa mbalimbali ziwe za viwandani ziwe za kilimo lakini pia wamesema wanaendelea kuwekeza kwenye eneo la, la afya kuhakikisha kwamba wanatukomeza kabisa e, janga la, la ukimu e, kwa kuwa wana mpango mkubwa sana ambao wamekuwa ukiwekeza na sasa hivi karibu asilimia vifo vinavyotokana na ukimu vimepungua kwa asilimia 
lakini wanataka kuendelea kuwekeza katika eneo hili la afya pamoja na kupambana na malaria ili baada ya miaka michache swala la malaria leo limetokomezwa kabisa kwa hiyo mahusiano haya yanaendelea kuimarika na tuna imani yataimarika na yataendelea kuipa Tanzania fursa ya kuweza kuendelea katika biashara katika uwekezaji lakini hata katika maeneo mengine ya huduma za afya na elimu